start off with just a finished one kind of floating with a drop shadow and a Gaussian blur. Take a look at a previous one that has this uh, letter in the 3D where you can see it's a symbol and uh, placed down with a little gradient in the background. You can create your own gradient, but here we'll just make a square with the uh, direct selection tool in order to turn the curves and take a look at the uh, lettering. I'll just use the symbol that's already there just to show it to you. And then create a new one just with a Helvetica letter A, the center of the type, placing it on there so they're all allotted in there, and then making a background and a couple gradients. So set it off to the side, then go back and say, maybe change it a little more custom to that color of the, of the tile itself, and go to the gradient and the swatches panel, open them both at the same time, and just mix and match them to create a gradient on either side of it. And then <coughs> taking this section here and swapping it out with the uh, proper or correct symbol and then duplicating the symbol and just changing the letter and the number to D and then just duplicating that perspective, changing it, duplicating that, just making a little symbol, a couple shapes for some shadows, gray gradients, soften the opacity and then a little bit of Gaussian blur in the effects under the appearance panel and it gives you a pretty good image.